I know when I get a chance to interview celebrity, I like to come up with a pun, a pun game to sort of test their well, skills on something. Turd cast the turdist. I, I mean, I mean this, this, your brand. I'm basically stealing your brand. No, no, I, I don't own puns. So you, can, <laughs> you can have puns. However, you're, you are a consumer champion. You are the sexy watchdog. I believe you've got yourself before. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you remembered. I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> I thought I might have coined that then. <laughs> <laughs> As I've just called you the sexy watchdog, so I've came up with five consumer disputes. Yes. That, and I want you to tell me which ones are true and which uh, ones are false. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. So I've came up with a few, with a few red headings. Yeah. So, so, so it's times when companies have told people you've got to lump it or like it, and they fought back. So, lump it or like it. I see. I see where you're going with I it. I see. It's like it or lump it. Like it or lump it. I've ruined it. It's like it or lump it anyway. So it's a game I'm calling. Like it or lump it. I love so, it. I love it. Five okay. consumer disputes. Gosh, to I'm going to really show myself up now. <laughs> so okay. here we go. Right. Consumers. It's issues. Uh, so, it is my world. A couple four back after a hotel introduced a policy charging customers £100 to leave a bad review. Is that true or is that false? It should be false, but I feel like it could be true. It is true. It was a, it was a hotel in Blackpool. The, the policy was. Despite the, the, despite the, charged yeah, you a hundred pounds. Yeah, a couple from Whitehaven got charged a hundred pounds for leaving a negative supervisor review. That's review. amazing. They said, despite the fact that repeat customers and couples love our hotel, your friends and family may not. For every bad review left on any website, the group organizer will be charged a maximum one hundred pound per review. That's extraordinary and presumably illegal. It, it, it was it was overturned by Blackpool Council, yes, and the, and the hotel and the policy has since been scrapped. <laughs> That's uh, amazing. Oh, well, I've got that one right. Next one, let's get the second one. A woman sued a TV station after it broadcast an incorrect weather forecast. Got to be true again. It is true. Yeah. It, a weatherman Danny Rupp said it would be a nice day, <laughs> so the woman wore summery clothes and was therefore not dressed for the heavy rain. This caused the woman to catch the flu and take four days off work while also being forced forced into medicine. She was she sued for a thousand a thousand dollars. I assume this was. Did you did you win? It, it was settled out of court. She got the money. Uh, I, I, I actually respect that. <laughs> I know. That's I know. great. I mean, the amount of times where you bemoan the weather forecast being incorrect, and this lady is just you yeah. know she's fought back. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Okay, so I got two out of five. Two, two out of, yeah. So question three. Yep. Bathroom supply company Arms to Shanks was sued by the Shanks family as male members of the family said it was deeply upsetting and traumatic to see their name whenever they used the urinal. Right, I think you've written that because we're doing turd cast, and so I think it's false. You have saw right through me, Joe. Yes. <laughs> that was, yes. that was three false. out of three. I was like, what can I do? A, ur a urinal based one. Uh, there, there we go. Uh, question I, I feel like the people at Armitage Shanks would love seeing. I would love to see my name. Yeah. I mean, my name's on this toilet, <laughs> which it looks like it's going up now. It's exciting. Oh, wow. This could be exciting video content. Mm, yes, it could, mm. yeah. A man took his employees to court after he was fired from his job for being too boring. I don't think that's. I think that's a, a false. It was true. Oh no! Yeah, a, a Frenchman. Too was, boring. Yeah, he was sort of management consultancy group Cubic Partners insist that uses a fun approach to its team building, which mainly involves <laughs> pushing staff to head straight to the pool after work. That's nice. And a man who was a Frenchman who was not named uh, was so insistent uh, he refused to join and was fired for it, and he overturned it, and he won the right to be boring at work. That. <laughs> Again, I respect it. I respect yeah. it. He was paid Brilliant. 2,500 euros in damages. Incredible. And well, good for him. Final question. A man was taken to court after yep. he insisted on paying one pound for an item that cost six pound fifty in Poundland, and he accused the budget chain of false advertising. I hope that's true because that is a disgrace that they charge six fifty. He should have. This is actually a hypothetical situation, oh. which, which I'm using to sort of campaign for Poundland. <laughs> <laughs> one pound Make Poundland, Poundland again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's your next campaign. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, yeah. three out of five. Uh, uh, like, yeah. Lice, lice over 50%. I'm happy with that. That was good yeah, performance. That's great.